So we're now going to do a quick example involving simple linear regression for real data. And we're going to use the real data and we're going to estimate the intercept and the slope for a simple linear regression model. The data set we're going to use is Forbes data. And James Forbes was a researcher living in the 19th century and he performed some experiments looking at the relationship between atmospheric pressure and the boiling point of water. So at that time, atmospheric pressure was difficult to measure and it was much easier to measure the boiling point of water. And so what he hoped to do was figure out the relationship between these two variables. And then instead of having to measure atmospheric pressure, he could measure the boiling point of water and just predict the atmospheric pressure from that. He obtained 17 pairs of measurements of atmospheric pressure in inches of mercury and boiling points of water in degrees Fahrenheit. And we're not going to talk about the reasons why right now, but instead of regressing, looking at the relationship between pressure and BP, we're actually going to look at the relationship between the log of pressure and BP. So, and when I say log here, I'm actually talking about the log base 10 as opposed to the usual natural log. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load the, AL, the ALR4 package. And the reason I'm going to do that is because it is the, the package that has the Forbes data set. And ALR4 is actually the package associated with Applies, Applied Linear Regression Models 4th edition, which is the recommended textbook for this course. Uh, or optional textbook, I should say. It's not the required book, but the optional one that you could also get. And once I've loaded that package, I can load the Forbes data set. And then now that I have loaded that data set, I'm going to fit a linear model. So LM stands for linear model. It's going to be a function we use throughout this entire semester. And it works sort of like the plotting techniques we saw for the base graphic system. So we're going to take the Y variable, we're going to have that on the left side, and then we're going to have tilde and then the X variable on the right side. So LM, Y, tilde, X. So L pres tilde, BP in this case. And because these variables are in a data frame, we have to specify data equals Forbes, where Forbes is the name of the data frame with that, those particular variables. So we regress LPRES on BP, and we're going to store it in an object called LMOD. And that once we do that, then we can actually look at LMOD. And so this tells us the estimated intercept and the estimated slope for this particular data set. So the estimated intercept is negative 42.1378. So this is beta naught hat, and beta 1 hat, the estimated slope, is 0.8955. So that's the estimated intercept, that's the estimated slope. And we can actually interpret these two things in the context of the problem. We can actually interpret the intercept and the slope. So we know that the estimated intercept is negative 42.138, and that's the estimated value of LPRES when BP is equal to 0. Or maybe more specifically, it's the estimated average response, the estimated mean response of LPRES when BP is equal to zero. But one thing I want to point out here is that the temperatures in the data set are actually between 194 and 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So this estimate doesn't make a whole lot of sense. In fact, the boiling point could never be a negative number, right? And the reason that we're seeing this unusually low intercept is because we are extrapolating. So extrapolating means making predictions beyond the range of the observed data set. So our observed boiling points were between 194 and 212. We're trying to make a prediction when boiling point is 0 degrees Fahrenheit, which doesn't make any sense at all. And so consequently, we get a, a slope that doesn't make any sense. The estimated slope is 0.895, meaning that for each unit degree increase in boiling point, we expect LPRES to increase by 0.895 units. So the average increase in LPRES is 0.895 when we increase boiling point by one unit, or one degree in this case. So we use R to automatically estimate beta naught hat and beta one hat, but you may be wondering how we would actually use those formulas that we derived to estimate the parameters. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to extract LPRES from Forbes and I'm going to store it in a variable called Y. I'm going to take BP from Forbes and I'm going to store it in a variable named X. I'm going to get N, which is 17 in this case, or I'm just going to take the length of Y. This is the number of observations. And I'm going to calculate first beta 1 hat and then beta naught hat. So if you remember, beta 1 hat 
was the sum of xi times yi minus the sum of the x's times the sum of the y's divided by n. So that's my numerator for that derivation. And we're going to divide that by the sum of the squared x's, the squared x values, minus the sum of the x's squared divided by n. Okay, so uh, this, is, this is the R formula for computing beta 1 hat. And I run that, and I get 0.895, just like I did before. And beta naught hat was y bar, the mean of y, minus beta 1 hat times x bar. And so now I will, now, now I will compute beta naught hat. And you see I get negative 42.14, which is what I got before. And now I'm actually going to plot the results of this. Uh, so if you want to plot, we want to plot our data here, we just use the plot function. We're going to plot LPRES versus BP. The data are in the, the Forbes data set. PCH stands for the symbol that is plotted uh, in the scatter plot. I'm going to do PCH equals 20, which plots a nice, pleasing, solid circle as opposed to the open circles. I'm going to change the x-axis and y-axis to be a little bit more descriptive. So here is my plot that I get. And then to plot the fitted regression line, I can actually just do AB line of L mod. So AB line is a line that has the form y equals a plus bx. a is the intercept, b is the slope. And if I give it an L mod, it knows automatically what to extract um, to do that line. Now I'm going to specify LTY equals 2. LTY stands for line type. 2 is a dashed line instead of a dotted line. And that plots the fitted regression line, the fitted regression line on our observed data set. And so that's the same plot that I have right here. And so we can see that this looks like the, the fitted line fits the data pretty well actually. And down here I gave some examples of how to do the same thing with the lattice package and the ggplot2 package. So to use the last package I load the package first and then I'm going to use the xy plot function because that's what creates uh, the, the xy scatter plot. I'm going to regress, or I'm going to plot LPRES on the y axis and BP on the x axis. The data is equal to 4. I'm just going to specify PCH equals 20 again. Specify the x axis and the, the y axis labels. And then for type here, I'm going to do P, which stands for points. That's what's going to create the points. And then R, which stands for regression line. And so if I do this, the lattice package will automatically fit a simple linear regression model and will plot the fitted line on the observed data set. So if I plot this, the plot looks almost identical. Uh, the, the formatting is a little different, but this is the same plot, the same data, and the same regression line that we saw before. And then lastly, I have what I would do if I wanted to do this uh, with the ggplot2 package. So I load that package. And then I need to create a ggplot object. So I'm going to use the Forbes data set. Um, for my aesthetics, I'm going to set the x variable equal to bp and the y variable equal to lpres. So this is my ggplot object. And then if I just wanted the points, I would do this first part. So I would add a geom point to the ggplot object. Okay, so there's just the points. So now I need to add the linear regression line, the fitted line, to our plot. And to do that, I'm going to add the, a smooth geometry, geom smooth. The method is going to be LM, the, a linear model. Then I can specify the formula I want, which is the formula I want to fit in my regression model, which is Y tilde X. I want a simple linear regression model where Y is LPRES and X is equal to BP. I don't want to compute the standard error, which that doesn't make a huge difference, but it's just going to add a, a band, a gray band around our fitted model otherwise. So I'm going to add the fitted line to my current plot. Okay, so this looks very similar to the previous plots. I'm going to change the x-axis label using the xlab function. And then, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I actually do not like this gray hatching in the background. So I'm going to change some of the, the default uh, options by adding theme underscore bw. This is the black and white theme. It's just kind of a slightly simpler theme. And so I'm running everything together, and that's the plot I get. So it looks very similar to the previous plots, uh, but it was using ggplot2 instead of the lattice package or the base package.